Want to know how to hang curtains in five simple steps? Yes! Well then keep watching for this step-by-step -step tutorial. And at the end of the video, I'll share a bonus tip. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump right into this project. Here are the materials you will need. A drill and bit set, measuring tape, a hand screwdriver, pencil, and level. Those are the required tools. What was helpful for me was a stud finder, blue tape, and I have a self-leveling laser, which is a little bit more efficient and helpful. I wanted to make this window look wider than it is. My window is about 47 inches in width, and each panel for my curtain is about 50 inches wide. I had a lot of fabric, so I decided to add 10 inches on either side of my window. You can use a pencil to mark the wall, but I like to use blue tape because it's easier to see. I also wanted to add visual height to my window, so I purchased long drapes that are 95 inches in length. When determining my height, I need to take into consideration the extra fabric above my grommet and where the curtain rod rested when in the hardware. Then I used a stud finder to see if I need to drill for anchors or if I am lucky and will hit a wood stud. You will check this on both sides. I used my leveling laser to find the cross points and to get the height measurement on the other side of the window. You can also use a regular level to do this. You just might need to do a couple extra steps. Then line up your bracket location and trace the holes with a pencil. One bracket hit a stud and the other one hit drywall. So mounting in drywall, you wanna pre-drill two pilot holes per bracket face. First, using a 3 32nd drill bit, or any drill bit really smaller than the quarter inch that you will need to finish with. You want to drill horizontally without forcing the drill or enlarging the hole bigger than the quarter inch. Next, with a hand screwdriver, you're going to screw the anchors into the pilot holes and then attach the bracket faces to the wall using the provided screws. When mounting directly into studs, you want to pre-drill two pilot holes per bracket using the 3 32nd drill bit. Then fasten the screws into the pilot holes, leaving enough room to be able to slide your bracket on, and then you will tighten the screws. Next, slide the front bracket of the adjustable bracket on the base to determine the desired projection and tighten the projection screw. The purpose of this adjustable feature is if you're mounting shears between your curtains and window. Since I already have blinds, I do not need to adjust it. Next, loosen the screw here to make room for the rod. I like to use the bracket to hold one side as I put on the curtains. With grommet curtains, you wanna make sure you place them on the rod with your fabric facing out. Screw in the finial, then pull it over to the other side until it fits right over the bracket. Secure the telescoping rod by tightening the screws and adjust your curtains to the desired position. My bonus tip is to double check the length of your curtains when they come in. When I ordered mine, it said it was 95 inches long and I measured all my hardware for that length so it would just kiss the floor. But after I hung it up, I noticed it was more like trouser length because it was kind of puddling at the bottom. So I took out my tape measure and of course they were 96 inches. I wish I knew that before I did all my drilling. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can click the card right up here or click here for an entire playlist. And I will see you guys in the next video.